Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah. This video is number four in my Sweet Summer Treat series, in which I'm making ice cream shop summer decor DIYs. This is also part of an open collab titled Sweet Summer Days that I'll tell you more about in a few minutes. DIY number one is ice cream sandwiches. To make the wafer cake part of my ice cream sandwiches, I'm using some air dry clay and I'm going for a rectangle shape. I'm rolling it out on some wax paper and then I'm going to be using my square to square it up. I'm going twice the length as the width, which Basically, I measured them three by six. Once I had the size that I wanted, I started tapering. I wanted to round off those corners and kind of taper in this all the sides as well, just to make it look more natural. And I'll do that on one side and then flip it and do it on the other side and back and forth till I've got a shape that I'm happy with. Then I used my square and kind of made some lines of dots. Not sure what you would call those, but you see them on top of the ice cream sandwiches. And I'm just going for a realistic look here. I had an oopsie with one of my wafers. It broke in half. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to go with it. I took my sanding block, sanded down those edges, and rounded the corners. Now I'll have two square sandwiches instead of one rectangle and they're going to fit on my tiered tray better so it was a happy accident. The paint that I used on these is the Anita's paint from Hobby Lobby. The color is earth brown. It's a really deep brown that I thought worked best for these chocolate cake things and I covered all the top and all four edges. And on the back side, I just painted in a little bit just in case it showed around the ice cream. Now, speaking of ice cream, I'm using some styrofoam that was packing material and something that I got. And I'm going to cut it with my styrofoam cutter. Since I have two sandwiches now, I'm going to paint one of them to look like strawberry. And I used the color baby pink from folk art and then I used hot glue to assemble the sandwiches and that's how they look I see a couple of spots I need to do some touch-up paint on but other than that I think they're really cute DIY number two is faux ice cream the recipe I'm using calls for two cups cornstarch and one and a half cups of Conditioner, hair conditioner, any type you like. This is just some cheap stuff that I had picked up. I'm going to mix it all together in a large bowl. Two cups of cornstarch. One and a half cups of conditioner turned into an actual half cup of the coconut. And a full cup of mane and tail. I'm actually glad that I ran out of the coconut stuff because the mane and tail conditioner has kind of a yellowy look to it and it made a more natural ice cream color. Once you get everything mixed well, it'll start pulling away from the sides of the bowl and you can easily clean it off your fingers as well. And there's your ice cream. DIY number three is a banana split. I'm gonna make the banana halves with some air dry clay. And I'm just rolling it out by hand. I don't have a mold for it. I'm kind of winging it here. Um, You'll see me measuring against a dish a couple of times because that's what I'm going to use for my banana split dish. A little smaller than I would like to have found, but I'm just going to do two scoops of the ice cream in here. Once I had the size and shape that I wanted, I rolled up some more of that clay and put right on the top center. And that's going to mound it up, give it a three-dimensional look. I spritzed it with water and blurred the lines between the two pieces. 
And then I'm going to take just a craft stick and make some horizontal vertical stripes on there. It's a little bit like a more natural banana. And then after they were dry, I took some ivory chalk paint that uh, watered down way too much. Kind of just drizzled it and dripped it on the banana. It actually still worked pretty well. Of course, they don't look exactly like bananas, but they're going to be covered with ice cream anyway. The little bowl I'm using, I picked up at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. And I'm going to put a little bit of that ice cream dough in the bottom. Otherwise, the scoops of ice cream would be kind of hovering on top of the banana slices. So yeah, there you see me reshaping a large scoop of my faux chocolate. It's chocolate? That's not chocolate, that's ice cream. I was looking ahead way too much because this is chocolate. Chocolate fudge topping that I'm mixing up. The brown color that I'm using is Earth Brown by Anita's and I'm going to be adding some kitchen and bath white caulk to that and give it a good stir. And once I had it stirred up, I realized that the white caulk had affected the end color that I was looking for. So I added just a, a little smidge of black to that to bring back the fudge color look. For the strawberry syrup, I'm going to have some flag red and that's an apple barrel color. And then a folk art color called baby pink. And I'm adding that to the caulk. And then I'll just drizzle those over the two ice cream scoops. I just didn't want a blood red on my ice cream. That would be very unappetizing now, wouldn't it? I had mixed up some lightweight speckled whipped cream to go on tops of these. But for some reason, it wasn't working with me today. I went through seven of those piping bags. So I just went with the caulk. It worked just fine. It's not quite as decorative, but it did the job. Now I'm going to add some embellishments on the top there. I didn't want to go with sprinkles on this. I thought it would be more fun just to leave it as they are, kind of plain Jane. But adding some little chocolate pieces to the hot fudge part of that banana split. And, of course, I put a little cherry on top, which is a berry from a package I got at Christmas time at Dollar Tree. For the strawberry side, I'm going to use a couple of little faux strawberries off of some bunches of greenery that I have. There, you'll see that. I only put two on that because the berries are larger than the faux cherries I'm using. So, I didn't want to weight it down too much. And there is. The only other thing I would like to do is maybe put some gloss Mod Podge to make those toppings stand out better. The Sweet Summer Days Open Collab is being hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY, co-hosted by Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun, and also co-hosting is Chantel from Crafty Hints. Every month, these ladies come up with something creative for us to join in on, and... I left links for all of those channels and this playlist in the description. DIY number four is upcycling some jars from making my own banana splits at home. I'm just going to paint the insides so they look like they still have something in them. For the pineapple topping, I used the folk art color Moon Yellow. It was a little bit thick, so I had to encourage it up the sides of the jar with my brush. The color of paint I used for the hot fudge is Earth Brown. And I used flag red for the strawberry. Now for those paints, I just swirled them around all the way up to the top. For the little pecan topping jar, I mixed together two colors, which was golden sunset and territorial beige. Because it needed a little bit of a yellowy tint for pecans. Once I had all the insides of the jars swirled with paint, I turned them upside down. Using a couple of little Tublin Tower plot blocks under them. And I let them drain and dry overnight. 
I thought the jars needed a little something else, so I took out some twines, different colors, and wrapped it around a few times around the lid, or just below the lid on those. Tied a simple bow, and I think just that little bit of detail gave it a little extra oomph. And there are my faux toppings to go on my faux banana split bar. For DIY number five, I'm making some faux sundaes. I'm going to be using that ice cream mixture. And these are little plastic bowls I picked up from Hobby Lobby. There was 10 in the pack for $2.99. Cute little plastic footed bowls. And here you'll see that there was a lot of room around the one scoop of ice cream that I put in there. So I decided to go around with some little giblets of the ice cream dough mixture. And it just kind of looks like little, little pieces have fallen off of that. This Sunday I used some leftover from my banana split on there for a hot fudge look. The next one, I just used some paint. I just drizzled paint without the caulk added. I have to say, I don't really notice a lot of difference. I used a color of melted chocolate on that. And I used the same two colors on this as before, but I didn't mix them completely and just let it be kind of stripey. And I kind of like that. I let those dry. And then I added caulk whip topping to the top of those. I wish that my spackle mixture had have worked, but this will be just fine for now. And once I had that on all of those, I added some DIY sprinkles. And I'll show you how I made those. I used some of the foam sheets from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut some thin stripes of those, some little thin strips, I should say, of those colors that I like. Then I held all those little strips together and started snipping. I had those looped over on their self, so I had to cut the loop first. And then just making small little confetti-like pieces of the foam sheet. Now, I made way too much way more than I needed and it was intentional because I'm going to do something with the leftover sprinkles. I took a little glass bottle with a cork stopper and I just put all that leftover confetti sprinkles in there for a little festive touch to go along with my recycled jars. Now back to the sundaes. I only have one more step and that is to put the cherry on the top. And as before, I'm using those Christmas berries from Dollar Tree. They're not the right size, but they are the right color. And I love using those. Here's the final look for those Sundays. And in a minute, I'm going to show you everything that I've made today in a grouping. But first, I wanted to tell you, if you make this ice cream dough like I did, and you have some leftovers, it's easily stored for later. Now here's the final look to all five of today's projects. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video, and I hope that you found it enjoyable. If you did, be sure you're clicked on the subscribe button. Only 30% of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, and I would love to have the other 70% of you join in too. It's totally free. I have three other videos in my Sweet Summer Treat series. I'll leave the link for that below, along with the link to our host and to the playlist. So please check those out once you're finished here. Until next time, bye-bye.